This video covers spark plug replacement on Harley-Davidson. There are several different reasons you might be replacing the spark plugs on your bike. Some of the common reasons are hard starting, poor acceleration, and rough idling. Harley-Davidson recommends inspecting the plugs every 5,000 miles and replacing them every 10,000. Doing this is going to give you a good idea of how your motor is running and also help keep the motor running at its best. Today we'll be working on a 1996 Softail Fatboy and these same steps can be used to replace the plugs on any of the Harley models. You'll see we've got this bike strapped down on a lift to make the job a little easier. So we'll begin by using compressed air to remove any dirt or road grime from around the plugs and cylinder heads that could potentially fall into the cylinder when the plugs are removed. Remember to always wear safety glasses when working with compressed air. When you've done that, go ahead and pull the spark plug wires and then you can remove each plug. These spark plugs require a 13 16 spark plug socket while others might require the 5 8 plug socket. It's important to use a spark plug socket when replacing plugs to protect the porcelain insulator from getting cracked or damaged. It's also important that you have your service manual for the specs and steps specific to your bike. A very select number of bikes were equipped with a four plug setup. That's two spark plugs for each cylinder. So you'll want to know if there are any special instructions that come along with your bike. As you pull each plug, it's always good to inspect them because they're usually a good indication of how your motor's been running. Since this is a carbureted bike, we'll expect to see a little more deposit on the outer shell of the plug. But the part you really want to look at is the color of the porcelain surrounding the center electrode. You're looking for a light to medium tan color, indicating you're running the proper air-fuel mixture. If it's too light, almost white in color, you're likely running lean. Too dark or black and it's likely rich. You can refer to your service manual for more information. It's important to compare the old plugs with the new plugs you're installing. We recommend installing the same plugs as specified in your service manual. If you start switching plugs, you run the risk of potentially damaging your motor. So you want to sit the plugs side by side and compare them. It's crucial that they thread the exact same distance into the cylinder head and that they have the same heat range as what came out of the bike. As long as you stick with the recommended plugs for your bike, you shouldn't run into any problems. The next step is to check the air gap on the new plugs, and this is the gap between the center electrode and the ground strap or outer electrode. Harley recommends 38 to 43 thousandths of an inch for these plugs, so we'll go ahead and check these gaps. There's a few different types of gapping tools available. You've got the common coin looking tool that has a tapered edge with size markings around the circumference. Then you've got a couple wire style gauges and finally a feeler style gauge as well. We're going to be using one of the wire gauges to set these gaps. We'll check to see if the 40 fits, and it doesn't, so we'll use the tool to bend the outer electrode back a little bit, and then try it again. As you can see, the 40 fits now, so we'll move up to the 45. As you can see, this one doesn't fit, so we know this plug is gapped correctly. We'll do the same thing for the other plug. We had to bend that one back a little bit. 40 fits, 45 doesn't, so we're good to go. It's always a good idea to apply a little anti-seize to the threads of each plug, making sure not to get any on the electrode. This is to keep the threads from seizing up, making each plug easier to remove next time. Once you've done that, the plugs are ready to be installed. It's important to start each plug by hand to prevent any cross-threading or damage to the threads. When you've done that, you can snug them down with a wrench, and then you'll want to check your service manual for the proper torque specs. Our manual calls for 18 to 22 foot-pounds, so we'll go ahead and torque these with our wrench set to 20 foot-pounds. The last step is to apply a little dielectric grease to the terminal of each plug and then reinstall your spark plug wires. Now you can go ahead and fire off the bike, make any adjustments, and go for a ride. If you have any questions about replacing plugs on your bike, feel free to give us a call at 1-800-336-5437. Rocky Mountain ATV MC is the one-stop shop for all the parts, accessories, and apparel for you and your Harley. We'll see you out on the road.